Hey, um, well, somebody was asking why youth with purpose? What is youth with purpose? Exactly, that's why uh, I'm here to address what youth with purpose is. First of all, the words are in English, you know, youth with purpose. Well, um, what is it to be a youth with purpose? To be a youth with purpose, it means you have discovered what you are, who you are, and all that is supposed to concern with the calling of God concerning your life. Now, I've always shared to the people, telling them that, you know, um, to be a youth with purpose can never be the same as um, being a youth without purpose. Why? Because to be with purpose, it means you have clearly understood why you exist even here on earth. Remember, there is nobody that is on earth that is just by accident. You see? Yeah, it could be that uh, maybe you were born by a parental accident. But remember, parental accident can never be divine accident. You see? Of course, maybe your mama was um, maybe raped, whatsoever it is, you know, and maybe just um, some people, their parents told them that, you know, we were not really planning to have you, but just something happened and here you are. But putting all that together, that does not mean you were born by accident. You might have been here, you know, by any sort of accident. But remember, according to the, to the mind of divine justice, to the mind of God, you really have to be here. And that's why everybody walking on the face of the earth is here by a purpose. But the question is, what do you think is your purpose right here on earth? Many people have confused um, purpose and career, right? But let me just address that shortly. Well, um, you know, many people today when you ask them, what's your purpose? They mistake purpose to be career. For example, you ask somebody, what, um, what's your purpose? Someone say, well, um, um, my purpose is to teach. I'm a teacher. No, that's not purpose. Teaching is a career. You see, it is a career. You pursue it. You learn it. That is a career well what's your purpose well my purpose is to treat people why because i'm a doctor no that is a career so treating or giving medical care and all the things that's not your purpose but what you are doing is that you are doing a service which is your career you pursued it right so what is purpose purpose is to fully understand and to be aligned with the mind of god concerning your life before you were even here now what this according to the scriptures the bible shows us um in the book of uh you know jeremiah chapter 29 from verse 11 it talks about god having good plans for you not to harm you not to do you wrong but to give you an expected end you see that so what does it mean it means before even we came in the into this world god knew us and the fact that he knew us he had planned for us and above it all, there was a predestination. What is a predestination? A predestination is um, something to happen before round, right? So it means God had already catered for you, catered for everything that will concern you because he knew you were coming, you see? That's why I'm telling you, it is not by accident that you are walking on the earth. You see that? Of course your mama, your daddy, they didn't know you were the one coming, but then God knew you were coming so he arranged everything for your coming and that's why you're here but look at this it is such a very big disappointment to live on earth yet not knowing what your purpose is your purpose is your mandate your godly ordained mandate concerning your life that is what purpose is so the question will be what's your purpose you see that what's your purpose i mean what is the godly ordained mandate concerning your life now how you discover your purpose listen your purpose is not hidden in the forest in the mountains not even in the rivers but guess what your purpose is right within you i wish i could explain some more about that look when i say that your purpose is right within you this is what i mean when god created you when god fashioned you in his image and likeness 
within you i mean in your spirit is where god also put your purpose so it means to know your purpose it means you are going to find out who you are because that is the beginning of it all you see and okay also to understand that your purpose is that which you know is a package of your blessing if god has blessed you that blessing is not outside you that blessing is locked within your purpose so it means to unlock your blessings you ought to be walking in your purpose are you hearing what i'm talking about boy this is so powerful your, your blessings oh uh, everything concerning you you know the bible says that god has given us all things pertaining to this life and godliness right the truth is that he has given to you all things but where are these things these things they are all in the circumference of your purpose so failure to find out what your purpose is that means you're going to fail in this life i tell you the truth in a line note so it is so important to know your purpose and guess what your purpose is in the questions i'm going to put before you number one the question is what if you don't ask your question what then you are not yet about to find out the reality the next one is who if you don't get to know about who then boy it is far from you then another one is how these are very important questions you're going to sit yourself down and ask why because it is that which will lead you into the knowing of everything concerning you what why who and how these are very important the first question is who am i the question is who are you you see that if you don't know who you are oh that's a big problem another one is what what am i supposed to do what is my purpose what is my mandate that is after knowing who you are because when you know who you are the next thing to find out is what are you supposed to be doing when you know what you are supposed to be doing the next question is how and now how is a very important question why because you can know who you are and know what you are supposed to do however how to do it becomes another thing so after knowing who you are and knowing what you were supposed to be doing you said to to build a strategies on how you are going to do it how you are going to achieve it after finding out this is my mandate this is my purpose then you are on the verge of finding out how am i fulfilling this purpose what am i supposed to do so questioning yourself these three things will put you in the best place and position to fully understand what is about you i'll tell you something there are many people that are falling asleep and they have never known what their purpose and mandate is and guess what they died with a mandate i mean with with an ability within their spirits listen to me brother there is an ability within you that nobody can ever find out if you don't challenge yourself to find it out you know what god did the best he created you and he also encapsulated this your purpose within your spirit so it is important to understand that everything you require to live a successful life is nowhere but inside you and that's why if there's anything you're supposed to take care of is to find out what is in you and begin to give it attention many people um they are bothered doing so many things right and uh, so many things they are doing is really outside their purpose the purpose of god concerning their lives brothers and sisters if you are doing anything that is not in relationship with your purpose listen you're going to find out that you have been doing it for 20 years so many years but guess what you have wasted your time and now I, I want you to understand that first of all the days you are living in the days are evil but the bible says teach us to number our days so it is wisdom to understand that the days are already wasted to some of you have wasted almost all of your years you see that why because the earlier you discover your purpose the better because when you discover your your purpose earlier on everything you, you begin to do is you begin to pursue it right right so before 
you continue to live a reckless life and live a life without you know a, a life without purpose find out what is your purpose your purpose i told you is inside you so the only thing the only tool that can help you discover your purpose i'll tell you it is not just a motivational sort of speaking no it is beyond motivation so what is it i'll tell you there is nothing in this world that can bring to your knowledge your purpose apart from of course i know i'm about to surprise you you're thinking of listen apart from the word of god so the word of god is that which is capable of bringing to your noticing what your purpose is of course i know you're thinking how is the word of god related with my purpose you're forgotten the bible shows us remember the bible shows us that god he knew us before we even knew ourselves before nobody knew us and the fact that he is the one that arranged and planned for you to come it means he also knows everything that has to do with you so the best thing is to find out who you are and guess what the secret of your personality is in the word of god i'll say it again i say it. the secret of your personality is wrapped up in the word of god and that's why your beginning to know the word of god is your beginning to a great discovery of the great expose of that which is within you what is it your purpose praise the lord jesus christ you know it is so much amazing to live in your purpose but guess what your purpose cannot be told to you by any other man you find out what your purpose is and how does it happen you get into the scriptures the word of god why because the word of god is a documentation of your entire life listen there is nothing concerning you that is not in the word there is nothing concerning you that is not in the scripture you see that there is nothing and that's why the earlier you begin to discover to exploit the holy scriptures you realize one thing the scripture will always be pointing about you the word of god will always be talking about you you know why because everything you have to do to fight for and to live by is nothing but the word of god the word of god is like a compass direction the word of god begins to lead you into your purpose because remember your purpose is inside you so the word of god is not just a motivation no the word of god is an inspiration it is a trigger oh boy do you relate with what i'm talking about i'll say it again the word of god is not just a motivation right the word of god is such a great inspiration a trigger so what does it do the word of god it quickens up your understanding and also brings enlightenment concerning the purpose which is in you remember you are not just receiving your purpose of course i've had many people praying as you know lord help me you know give me purpose no god is not going to give you purpose he has already given you purpose so where is it i told you that purpose is locked up within you but the word of god is such a great element that will begin to help you discover yourself and everyone else will tell you that day they started to understand the word of god that is the day they started to know who they are because you cannot know who you are by not you know reading the context of the scripture which really describes you because you don't know who you are but the word of god like i told you the word of god is like a mirror the bible says looking in beholding as in the mirror you see so it means the more you look into the world the more you behold yourself when you stand before a mirror all you see is yourself right that's the same thing with the word of god so when you stand before i mean when you sit to read the word or to hear the word of god what happens is that you are on the verge of discovering who you are because it is important to know who you are and where is that found in the bible glory to god so i thank god so much for the holy scriptures right why because that is the beginning of discovering your personality and who you are glory to jesus so um the word of god puts you in a position 
where you are able to see yourself as God sees you the most important thing is that you are supposed to look at yourself the very eye God uses to see you and guess what the only place you can trace the lens of which God uses to see you is the word you see so the word of God is the total definition of your personality glory to God so whosoever has started the journey of you know studying the word that person is on the journey of finding out who they are because when they find out who they are definitely they'll get to know what they are what, what their life is all about when they get to know about it the same Bible will also show you how to pursue it and how to do it you see and that's why the Word of God is important you cannot do without the Word of God saying you can do without the Word of God is like saying you know what you can go to a place you don't know and how is it possible to go to a place you don't know it is not possible so you need direction and that direction is in the Word of God that direction can only be the Word of God because that's when you start to discover that boy this is what the Word of God says concerning me before you know it you're going to start to adjust according to the compendium of the world you know why because the word of God is going to constrain you and the constraints of the world will start to help you to run after that which is right all of a sudden what will happen to you is called the mental noyo mental noyo is a strict and a stiff tongue around you see that what will happen is you're going to repent to repent means you're going to change drastically and start to follow the right direction because the word of God will help you know that you know what the way you are following the Bible says that the way seemeth right to a man but the end of it is destruction so you start to realize that whatsoever you were doing yes it was bringing pleasure to you but you see um, it was also bringing I mean leading you to destruction so before you know it you're gonna change immediately you know why because the word of God just helped you to know and find out that there was a ditch just before you so on the vibe of falling in there the word of god has brought understanding has brought enlightenment suddenly you cannot continue that way anymore so what is happening a mental know your change a change of mind so before you know it it's time to do the right thing and leave out that which is not right that is achieved by the word of god and eventually you now know what to do next because the Bible will start to guide you on the ways you should go, on the things you should do, on the people you should engage. Firstly, it says you cannot be equally yoked with non-believers. So you start to realize that, you know, another context says, you know, do not be deceived. Good morals can be corrupted by bad morals. So you realize, you start to realize that, well, um, the friends you cannot keep anymore. You know why? Because they are not chasing the same things you are chasing why because they are on another verge and you are on the other page the two of you cannot meet to do anything together so it is important to understand that there is nothing you can start to do with your life other than finding who you are what you are and how to do you see that absolutely you know i wish i could speak more and more and more and more and maybe just for this episode we shall put it you know at a stoppage but guess what more and more is still coming up you don't have to miss this there's something that is going to happen to you i can tell it to you it's called an inspiration and also a trigger of what is within you and as i'm speaking i've not yet unveiled a lot of the mysteries the secrets and all the things you are supposed to know concerning your purpose so when you talk about youth with purpose what we are meaning is that we are youth that have found out who they are what they are supposed to be doing and how they are supposed to achieve it so to be a youth with purpose it means you know who you are you also know what you are supposed to be doing which is your purpose and then also you know how you are supposed to be doing it to achieve it that is what it means to be a youth with purpose so it's a great pleasure to introduce to you once again youth with purpose we say the future is ours and now is the future you see that 
so to just bring it to your understanding you cannot miss in case you want to miss you know what you're going to do skip this message skip this video so just keep check and to continue being inspired follow us for more of this information we are live on youtube at youth with purpose we are on tiktok at youth with purpose and all other social media platforms on instagram by the same name youth with purpose don't forget i am your host esteem isaac or team the leader vision bearer and president of youth with purpose see you shortly in the next episode i love you bye, -bye.